Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, first and foremost, thank you very much for all of the likes on the first three episodes of the series right here. You guys have been absolutely smashing the like target that I set for you all for 200 likes on these episodes. If this episode right here gets at least 200 likes or more, then episode 5 will be an early hour special that I promised you all. Uh, so... I want to go ahead and quickly talk about a few of the comments that I've been getting. I get a lot of the same comments on every video. And I figure instead of me answering the comments, let me just talk about it real quick. One of the most common comments I get is, Why are you building your industries in the middle of your housing? Shouldn't you be building them off to, you know, next to iron mines and furnaces around a trade union because it's more efficient? All right, so... <clears throat> My name is Takara Zuka. I am a beauty builder. I do not build uh, according to how pretty much every single other YouTuber out there, uh, except maybe a couple. There might be uh, Darren, Republic of Play, and Navarius has done a little bit of beauty building. But for the most part, every other YouTuber that covers Anno builds more in an efficient optimization method. You know, they build around a trade union utilizing layouts from the internet. I do not do that. I am a beauty builder. I go for aesthetics. I go for looks. I specifically, the way I like to build is for mm, kind of a realism look. Um, trying to go more realistic. In the 19th century, it was very common for the lower class uh, workers and things like that to live right amongst the factories. You know, they didn't have cars and mass transit you know, buses and taxis and stuff back then to take people to work. You basically walked to your place of employment in the 19th century. And a big part of that was the workers and stuff lived near their factories. Um, so I tend to build that way. I tend to build with factories mixed in among certain parts of my residential areas. Um, I have done extensive research on this, so you cannot, so please don't go in the comments and say, oh no, you're wrong, they don't build that way. They might not have built that, if you're from Europe and they did not build that way in your specific town, then that's one thing. But if you go and look at cities like Berlin, London, Paris, place, the big cities where the Industrial Revolution really kicked off, um, they would tear down entire parts of neighborhoods amongst the lower classes and just slap a factory in the middle of it, you know, right next to all the worker tenements. It's kind of what they did in the big cities. Uh, there was no zoning restrictions and like the whole, you know, oh, you can't build a factory in my backyard, you know, because uh, I'm going to petition this local uh, count city council about no they didn't they didn't have that kind of I actually had a comment like that they're like well you know we don't build factories in people's backyards you know that's it's it's polluting and ugly and people you know will you know go to the government about it they didn't care about that stuff in the 19th century guys um people with money had all the power and if you did not have money they didn't care and they didn't do anything about it so uh I build sort of realistically to, to the degree that Anno allows you to build. So building things like factories in and amongst the worker houses is a normal, is a thing. And I think it looks cool and it's sort of historical as well. Now, another comment I've seen about it is, oh, it also doesn't it hurt your illness? Doesn't it hurt uh, the health of the nearby workers? It does to a small degree. Um, there is no actual like stat you can see for how much pollution is affecting it but there is um and i think it actually might just be island wide pollution affects illness it's but it's not that impactful i if you have been watching me for the last two years i build factories in and amongst my workers and stuff and my artisans and stuff like in mass amounts you rarely see me have huge outbreaks of illnesses and stuff it just you know it's a very minor minor impact okay and then the other thing is oh doesn't it hurt your attractiveness i think see i've got minus 30 right here for a for a pollution i think on my crown falls i typically have somewhere like two to three like and i build most all of my industry on crown falls when i build a city there and i might have two or three hundred attractive negative attractiveness that's really not a lot that's one that's one more six sets zoo or museum or something it's it's nothing 
Um, late game, 300 attractiveness is negligible and it's very easily countered. Um, so, yeah, early game, it might hurt a little bit. But overall, you know, later in the game, 300 attractiveness is not much, you know, and it's not a big deal to me. So, so I kind of wanted to talk about that real quick and just kind of address that. Because, again, I get those comments all the time of why is your factory in the middle of that? Why aren't you building them around trade unions efficiently? Da, 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 da. I get those all the time. And um, it's because I am not that is not how I build and that is not how I play. So. So there you go. There's my uh, my quick little soapbox moment of uh, why I don't build factories in the middle of everything. Oh, and also brick roads. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, guys. Yeah. My longtime viewers think it's a me. I love to troll me about it about not building brick roads. I I know brick roads are a thing. I promise you guys. I am well aware that brick roads are a thing. The thing is, you don't want to see me sit here and lay brick roads for a half hour. You know, I don't want to sit here and lay brick roads for you guys for an hour, for a half hour or so. I do it on my own time, and I don't have the time at the moment. So I will get to brick roads when I can. I promise. Um, I've had people actually say, hey, did you know you could build brick roads to extend the range of stuff? No kidding. I've been playing these games for almost 20 years now, and um, I have been making guides for this game for uh, almost two years. I'm... I'm pretty familiar with the brick road concept. Um, I just don't have time to do it, to be quite honest with you right now. So, anyways. Alright. Comments and stuff, I think, are covered. Uh, like, some of the major comments. Uh, if you have comments, please do leave them. You know, if you have questions, do leave them. I do try to respond to the comments. But if I get comments that are, like, the same ones over and over, I would like to address them in the videos. So, if I don't reply to your comment immediately, or within, like, 24 hours, know that it will likely be answered in the next video. Alright, so, that's out of the way. I need to get started on some windows uh, here on the island. Uh, the reason being is because we have unlocked the hospital, which means that pretty soon we're going to start having illness, and I need to deal with that. I kind of was not paying attention, and that's kind of a big oopsie on my part. So, we have got to get that started and get that going. Okay, he can reach. And, of course, I have, like, just a god-awful, horrible layout right here for trying to fit all of this stuff in. You know what? That'll work. Here, I'll even, I'll even do a brick road. I'll, I'll start using brick roads. If it will, uh, if it will make you guys happy. I'll start using brick roads. Okay, so I'm just going to do one of those, one of those. I do need a lumberjack hut. We're going to come and plop you right there will work. And then two window makers to get us started. Uh, some of, some people are probably like, oh my god, he's going to build two window makers? Yeah, I'm going to build two. Normally I don't. Normally I just build the one, but, you know. I need windows quickly, so two window makers up and running it shall be. And, you know, I'm going to move this sail maker elsewhere. This sail maker is probably, I don't know if it's going to stay here or not, but. Alright, there's a couple of window makers. Get some windows coming in. The first and foremost thing I need is going to be that hospital. And then we will uh, move on to probably get a variety theater in. And then we will start with the uh, sewing machine stuff. Get those put down. Alright. Now that that's done and out of the way. Oh, I was building a couple of little ships down here. Um, I do want... I don't have enough weapons yet for a gunboat. So once I do, I'm going to build another gunboat. Just to kind of uh, help protect our little trade route right here. Um, but I could do an escort quest. What was it going to give me? 13k. That's actually decent. You know what? Let's bring our little uh, fleet right there. I also want to run down here real quick because we were going to drop off this stuff. Bring you back up. Who's the charm? You're going to escort that, please. 
Thank you. Alright, now we're just waiting for the sand to come up. And there's the sand. That's what we were needing right there. Get sand, get that glass going. Why don't you take care of that? What was I, uh... Oh, yeah. Kablooey goes the little gunboat. Good. Gunboats are so cute. I don't know if I've ever said that before. Gunboats are so super cute. Okay. Um... While I, I don't want to expand too much more right here at the moment, what I want to do instead is not down here. Um, where, where, where? Is this island got on it? Oil and stuff. I think I want to come right here to Bristol. And I think I want to turn Bristol into a... Um, I want this to. I think I want this to be a farming island mostly. I think I want it to be like my where my grain. You could do a lot of grapes here though. It might be a better place for grapes right there because grapes do take up quite a bit of room, even with the tractors. Then I can't get grapes down there. She's still kind of creeping her way over, isn't she? Speaking of creeping her way over, still zero, still zero. I can afford to give him 7k, but he doesn't want it. I don't want to risk flattering. I just flattered him, so I don't want to risk doing it again this quickly. So, um, yeah, because I do want to get the, the grain and stuff moved off of this island. This is going to be our capital island. You know what? Let's actually use this. Let's use... Um, I need some better city names. Or I'm going to have to think about some. Let's buy us up. Do I want to buy one? Yeah, let's just buy one. Let's buy a clipper. We're going to come over here and pick up some building materials. And we're going to go down here to... Is it sur la door? I butchered that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have several... Yeah, several channel members probably yell at me because I absolutely just butchered that pronunciation. There we go. Got rid of that one. Uh, can I build another gunboat? I can. Let's get that built and going. Alright. I want that, 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 and some bricks. Let's come down here. Is that where I want the... Uh, yeah, I guess that is where I want the harbor is on that side. That's fine. So, how many granary, how many uh, of all this right here do I have? I have ten. Two of those. The bakeries will likely stay on this island for now, and I'm just going to move the grain and flour, and I'm also going to go ahead and move uh, schnapps and potato farms down here. How much workforce is that? It's 20 in each. So that's 200. 220. Uh, 280. 480. So I need about 500 workforce. That's really not bad. It's only like 40 homes. Because we get the free 100. So that's really not bad. I can do that. Cool. I can handle that pretty easily. There's some lovely fire going on. There's another gunboat up and running. Cool. On the bright side, it'll be over soon. Oh, gosh. You're killing me here with this. Speaking of killing, man, we're having some fire issues here. Where was that other one at? I just saw it a second ago. That's way up there, though. Okay, that's fine. Conditions are verging on the inhuman. All right, it's going to give me a 18k. The water carrier, I don't care much about, but the plus two rep, I will definitely take. 
Perhaps you don't realize what Just keep an eye on him. Look, he's still at 87. He still absolutely loves me. Alright, guys, you can come back down here. You're back. Good. Cool. Alright, that's all going to be taken care of. Jump down to the new world real quick. Just, uh... I could have lit up the barbecue. Should I have lost... That's weird. I lost reputation with him somehow. But it never showed me that I did. And now's not a he doesn't have any... Okay. We're going to get ready to go and, uh... Make Jean a little happier with this. We're going to really make Anne mad, but at least it's going to make... Uh, it'll help Jean out with him. Um, I don't... I want to stop having to pay him 50k every so often. Alright, there's all of that. Let's get us down a couple of depots here. Okay. Okay. Now. There we go. That'll work. Now, I want... This is going to be like a nice little harbor side town. So, I'm going to have... Now, these farmers... I probably will have some workers on this island, too. So, i got to consider that. Put the market here. Run back up, because I'm going to definitely need some more timber for this. Um, I will get some uh, timber production going here as well. That's going to be really annoying, isn't it? There we go. That'll do. I guess a little timber and stuff going up here. All right, let's go have a little fun with Anne. Uh, something I normally never, ever do. But I could definitely use some reputation with Jean. So sinking ships is a good way to get that. And I know some of you people are like warmongers and just really want to see me fight people. Let's hang here for just a second because she's kind of, I don't really feel like chasing her down. right there so I can bring that out. Well, this is going to be a really loosely defined farming community right here. It's already 20 right there, and you only needed like 40. It's 
35. It's enough to kind of get me started right there on what I want to do. Here she comes. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Might as well just go ahead and build a few more. There we go. That ought to be pretty decent. That's 42, yeah. Alright, let's grab ourselves a fishery. And we can do our little cheaty thing like that, which I love being able to do. You don't even have to have it connected to the main road. Alright, hold on. We're about to have a battle. Let's go have a battle with, with Anne. Some people are probably like cheering right now because I'm actually... Oh, she's going to run! No, don't run away! Come back! I just want to play! This is the problem with the pirate, with the AI. They will so run away from you. And then they'll like gang up on you. I don't trust her. I don't trust her not to gang up on me. It's just a frigate. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not. I'm. I'm not playing with like eight pirate ships. Go away with all that mess. All right. I'll fool with her when I have time again. All right. A bit of that. Let's see how I want to make this happen. Give me a framework knitter there. One, two, and three. Sheep farm there. Yeah. Oh, right. Pub. Always forgetting the pub. Gotta move a couple of houses around here then. Grab us a pub right there. Good. We not have trouble enough. Uh, fire station, because we know we'll have to have one eventually. You can go right there near the docks. And we'll put our potato farm right over here. That should be enough for everything right now. Yeah, it's plenty. You come over here. Got 28 windows. Still not quite enough. Let's just go ahead and pick up a little more building material. Bring that down here. This is also going to be kind of nice just for some extra uh, income down here. So a little, just a little extra income on a nice little farming island. Ship under attack. Oh shoot! See, this is what happens. Yeah, I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> Let's pull back over here. You're good. I see. Oh, he does give me one reputation, though. It's really not much. Every There's some money for him. I can't no quests. Still can't get those. Can't do a ceasefire with her, which I might, because she is starting to range out kind of far. Still have to keep an eye on her. Ah, there's the 40 that I needed. Good. Um, Alright. Artisans. Definitely need to get that hospital up and running before we have uh, any problems. Where, oh where shall I put it? I really don't like that all of my... Public buildings are like centered right in the middle. 
Although that's kind of just how it's panning out, isn't it? Actually, this right here would work. Do a couple of these houses. Actually, that was going to be for a uh, park right there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Ship constructed. All right, got our first hospital there. We'll get another one up here. But that at least gets me one hospital started. She's small, but she's key. Okay. One hospital down. Drop off some goodies, and let's get started then on brain farms that I need here. So ten grain farms, and I probably will also move off. I'll probably move a lot of this stuff right here off too. Um, the slaughterhouse is probably not. Uh, maybe so. Maybe I will move this lower. I don't know. But definitely, like, the pig farms and the rendering works. I'll at least get those moved off off of this island right here. Things are somewhat humdrum. Okay, now comes the fun part of I have to figure out how I want all of this to look. Because I do want this to start kind of looking, you know, nice. And... Definitely need one of those. Trying to build them like kind of weird shaped never really works out that well. It's always like it's those two that you can't fit in quite right. And yes, I know, you can hold shift to put an extra one down. Um, I don't like to do that. There's the first two. I'm not going to move the bakeries, though. I mean, did I say I had? I had ten of these up here. Yeah. Alright, so this is my plan here. What I'll probably do is, off camera, I'll finish setting all this up and get everything moved around. Um because that's kind of, I, you know, don't want y'all to have to sit through watching me move that stuff right there around. You know, that's not exactly fun. I, I do at least want stuff to be interesting to watch. And that's not very interesting. All right. Let's actually do something interesting, though, which is getting uh, this right here set up and running. I'm going to need some more timber. And how am I doing on steel? Yeah, I need more steel now. Or another furnace, rather. Oh. Yeah, I don't want it right there. I want it right there. A competitor raised a settlement. Oh, really? Where? So he came over here and took that island. Perfectly fine. All right, so there's a, that. Iron and coal is still good to go. I don't have all I need for my canvas. Let's see, is that going to be enough sewing machines for right now? It's just enough. It's just enough sewing machines for the time being, so that's good. See, I mean, this is why I like building these factories in the middle. I mean, to me, this looks nice. I think it looks good like that. Um, I know some people don't think it does. Um, but, 
you know what? It's my game. This is how I like to build. Let's upgrade him. I had better now, this is very expensive. However, once we get the sewing machine's uh, needs fulfilled, yeah, there it goes. We'll start making more money again. It's just going to take it just a few because it is a long trip back over to that warehouse. Uh, this right here is fine. It's not going to change anything because we don't have a variety theater, so it's not going to impact um, the need for variety theater. We assist however we may. So I'm not worried about that. What I am worried about, though, Fleet commencing escort. let's escort that. Pull you in a little closer to shore. Alright, that has been fulfilled. Now I probably just need to start doing some more expansion so I can cover the cost of uh, building some of this other stuff. Because... Um, there's a little, my little last tip for the day and everything is just because you have supplied a good doesn't mean you're going to make back all of the money. Uh, that's something a lot of people get themselves into is, you know, they're like, oh, you know, I upgraded to one engineer and I built a spectacle factory chain. Why do I not? Why am I losing money? Well, it's because there is a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a, uh, like a... a a minimum number of residents that you have to supply the goods to before you make back the cash required for um, for the maintenance for the production chain. So if we take a look at here at the factory chain. Okay, we built an extra furnace, which is a hundred, and we built a sewing machine factory, which is five hundred. So that's six hundred right there. Okay. You get a. I'm getting 11 coins because I'm on low income. Don't forget. So I get 11 coins. So 600 divided by 11. I need 50 artisan homes. 55 artisan homes, uh, exactly, in order to break even on just those two parts of the chain right there. Okay. If we go and take a look at how many I have, I only have 48. So I need uh, five, seven more artisan homes to break even on that chain. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And of course, I ran out of workers a little bit here, so let's upgrade a few more of these. There we go. So, once they are fully supplied with theirs, then I will break even, and I'll have the exact amount of money back, roughly, that I had before. So that's, uh, that's something you have to consider, is how much you need to break even on a production chain. And it, again, it's a very simple calculation. Just figure up, take how many buildings you had to, the chain needs, or you know how many you had to place, and then just um, divide that by the amount of income that you get. And that tells you how many homes you have to build in order to break even on that chain. Uh, something like the Spectacle Factory, I believe, I think it needed like... I think I needed like 86, 86 artisan homes, uh, artisan engineer homes to break even on low income, something like that. We'll take a look at it later. So that's a little tidbit of information that a lot of people don't realize. And uh, they just kind of they, they upgrade a few houses and they start building all these production chains and all of a sudden they're broke. And they're like, I don't know what I did wrong. And it's like, well, you didn't do anything wrong, per se. You just need more homes to break even on that um, on that amount of money right there. So that takes care of that. The next thing is going to be the, uh, the fur coats. God, I hate fur coats. Get those fur coats going, and then I'm going to do a little more expansion of the city so I can get up to 1500 so we can unlock the art at the university and get that built and make our way over to the engineers now. So I can start the fun part, which is uh, tractoring everything up later. Um, and when I get ready to tractor everything up, I will likely also go over to Cape Trelawney. So I can look into buying 
steam motors because those are rather expensive to produce early on. So I may go over there and look into buying them. They are expensive to buy as well, so I'm going to kind of weigh my options on that right there. Ceasefire has ended. So there's a ceasefire over. He still does not love me. You'll get paid. Oh, here we go. Same as any of my men. Good luck. All right, what did he want? 14 tons of weapons? Well, I can actually do that. Flagship awaiting instructions. Can I build you now? I can. Actually, yeah, let's get that built. I need that. Alright, we'll bring you over to the New World. Actually, I'm going to bring a few more. I'm just going to go ahead and load them all up. Uh, I want some weapons in the New World for some uh, cannons, just in case. Alright, so there we go. Um, Alright, and that is going to be it for this episode. Sorry it wasn't a whole lot. You know, the last two episodes were quite a bit. A lot of building, a lot of expansion. This one, not so much. Getting things kind of ready, because I'm, I'm kind of getting ready to, you know, move a lot of my agriculture off this island. Go ahead and get it shifted over. Um, a lot of people are like, I see a lot of people saying, oh, you shouldn't uh, move production off your islands. Do you have commuter peers? Da, 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 da. And I just want to show that you can do that before you have commuter peers at the engineer phase. Um, and that you can totally move your agriculture off your main island and set up farming islands and stuff. Because I see, I see too many people saying that, oh, you shouldn't do it before then. And while that's, you know... It may not be the best thing to do at all times, depending on your skill level with managing multiple islands. It's completely possible to do, especially with just farms and it's just farmers. It's really not that big of a deal. Go ahead and move your stuff off if you feel comfortable doing it. So yeah, don't worry about that. All right, guys, with that, thank you so much for watching. Again, 200 likes on this episode and episode five will be an early hour special. And thank you so much for watching, and we will, uh, huh, we will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.